Namaste. Namaste. Welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mira nam Anjali hai, hamache hai, kaise hai aap? And today we just heard some more news about Sushant Singh. Um, Kangana has released another video talking about um, who's at fault, and and we hear there's supposed to be an investigation on yeah. some of these goons that are in Bollywood that. Um, led or helped in the death of Sushant Singh um you know it's just heartbreaking it's heartbreaking to see such an amazing actor he was a smart guy destined to go to big colleges he you know wanted to be like an astronaut and he ended up choosing acting and then he was basically you know being tortured by the big guys and yeah. then trying to ask people for help and, you know, watch my movies because they're not releasing them because they're, you know, but like we said before, this is devastating. Our heart goes out to his family, um, but everybody, you know, Kangana is talking about Bollywood and how they're responsible, but there's many, many factors in all of this. You know, he was a smart guy, but when everybody is putting bad news about you when everybody is not watching your movies you know these big guys in Bollywood are big because everybody goes to see their movies you know if you don't go and see a Salman Khan movie for the next year do you think that he's gonna be the big star no so everybody needs to look at themselves and say like here the Jan family we've done a couple of his movie songs and a couple of trailers we didn't do enough either. It breaks our heart to see this such a nice guy who we relate to because he was so down to earth, loved dogs, loved astronomy, like just such a nice guy. We've seen videos of him stopping to take pictures with his fans. Like this shouldn't happen. He obviously didn't have enough support, not only internally in Bollywood, but I think maybe being trapped at home in the coronavirus and having all this everything bombarding from everywhere he just didn't have enough support yeah. um and and so we are all at fault in this but we're going to listen to kangana's um speech and talk about it more at the end yep सिंह राजपूत की हत्या के बाद कई चीजें बाहर निकल के आई है कुछ मैंने इंटरव्यूज पढ़े हैं कुछ डायरेक्टली भी बात की है तो उनके पिताजी का कहना है कि वो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में हो रही टेंशन के करके बहुत ज्यादा परेशान थे अभिषेक कपूर जिन्होंने उन्हें लॉन्च किया उनके साथ हाल ही में एक फिल्म की है केदारनाथ उनका कहना है इट वॉज अ सिस्टमैटिक डिसमेंटलिंग ऑफ अ फ्रिजायल माइंड अंकिता जो उनकी लॉन्ग टर्म पार्टनर रह चुकी है उनका कहना है कि वो सामाजिक रूप से की गई अपमान और बेइजती नहीं सहन कर पाया तो अब मैं आपको बताऊंगी कि मूवी माफिया ने ना कि सिर्फ उनको बैन किया था सिस्टमैटिक डिसमेंटलिंग कैसे कतरा कतरा करके उनका दिमाग तोड़ा गया है उनको मारा गया है तो ब्लाइंड आइटम आप इसलिए लिखते हैं क्योंकि आप जब झूठ लिखना होता है आप आप को के अंगेज कोई लीगल एक्शन नहीं लिया सकता क्योंकि आपका तो नाम ही नहीं लिखा मगर उसकी जो डिस्क्रिप्शन होती है जैसे मेरे बारे में लिखा जाएगा कि जिस लड़की के घुंगाले बाल है जिसको नेशनल अवार्ड मिला हुआ है साइकोटिक है इस तरह से जो की मनाली से डिस्क्रिप्शन पूरी दी जाएगी मगर नाम नहीं लिखा जाएगा तेईस अगस्त दो को बॉलीवुड लाइफ सुशांत के बारे में लिखता है कि वो जब भी सेक्स करता है तो सिर्फ अपने ही गाने सुनता है वो सबसे बड़ा नार्सिसिस्ट है 16 दिसंबर 2016 में मुंबई मिरर लिखता है कि सुशांत एक ट्रक ड्राइवर की तरह लगता है 22 फरवरी 2019 को मुंबई मिरर लिखता है कि पार्टी में तमाशा करने के बाद सुशांत ने कांच की बोतल एक डायरेक्टर के सर पे दे मारी 18 अक्टूबर 2018 को डीएनए लिखता है कि सुशांत ने अपने को एक्टर का रेप किया और वो मीटू के चलते अब जेल जा सकता है और ऐसी न जाने कितने अनगिनत झूठ और ये जो बुद्धिजीवी जर्नलिस्ट है ये जो चील कौए गिद्ध हैं जो मूवी माफिया के पाले हुए हैं ये इसको मेंटल इमोशनल साइकोलॉजिकल लिंचिंग को जर्नलिज्म कहते yeah, हैं really. uh, मैं, मेरे बारे में आज तक जो भी कहा गया मैंने कुछ नहीं कहा लेकिन जब एक स्वतंत्रता सेनानी के खिलाफ गंदगी लिखी गई मैंने उस जर्नलिस्ट को कॉन्फ्रेंट किया आपको पता है उसी रात चार सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट ने मेरे खिलाफ एक गिल्ड बनाई ऐलान किया गया कि इसकी फिल्म को बैन किया जाए फ्लॉप किया जाए आपको पता तीन जर्नलिस्ट 
गैंग अप होते हैं एक अकेली लड़की पर उसकी इमोशनल लिंचिंग करते हैं सरयाम और ये समाज कुछ नहीं कहता कानून कुछ नहीं कहता है मैंने उनको उन पर केस करने की कोशिश की मगर एक महीने बाद वो गायब हो गए मेरी फिल्म रिलीज हुई गायब हो गए तो मेरा कहने का मतलब ये है कि अगर ये समाज जिस अन्याय की बुनियाद पर खड़ा है और कभी आवाज नहीं आप ये पढ़ते हैं चटकारे लेते हैं कभी आपने सोचा है कि कभी नेपो किड्स के बारे में ये क्यों नहीं लिखा जाता है तो ये अन्याय का फंदा किसी दिन आपके बच्चों के गले में लटका मिलेगा आपके गले में लटका मिलेगा इसलिए जब तालियां बजेगी और सीटियां बजेगी तब आपको पता चलेगा कि क्या गुजरती होगी she uses some of these examples i hope if they the case that's filed um against these goons in bollywood that have done this stuff like you know the examples she gave about um you know the glass bottle on the actor and that an actress had said he had raped her and you know that he doesn't look good that how can you go through when lie after lie after lie the media is throwing out there and this is what social media does too they hear a rumor and they put it online but they don't realize how mean it can be and how harsh it can be to that person they're talking about mm-hmm. and it's just sad to think what the other person feels yeah. behind the screen so if if you are trying to you know he was trying to do good movies he was a good guy and then you have people in the movie industry that's not that are not treating you nicely you have uh the social media that's making up stories about you that people are believing and then you have the consumers that are not going out and watching your movie enough yeah. or like the more recent that his last movie just went straight to netflix and i mean that were stuck in home maybe people were watching it but unless there's a big hype beforehand like nobody's going to even know what's out there no how many people are going to watch it just straight to netflix unless it's during this coronavirus time it's not going to make any money but thing after thing after thing and like she said in her last one like the one thing he forgot was how important he was his what his mom said how important he was yeah and what the good, good people were saying about him he didn't focus on the good he focused more on the bad people he focused on what everyone said what the whole said right but i know he had a lot of fans and we see them down in the comments yeah. you know he he did he unfortunately focused too much on the negative he was a really smart guy but i can just imagine being him being a young actor you know you've had a couple really good movies that people really liked but never got awards for then you have these goons that are like you know making up stories and reporters that are making up lies about you where you think you're going to get in trouble or go to jail or lose your your house and then you know you you're trying to reach out now we heard Ashke Kumar talk about it but he kind of focused more on you know if you're in depression you know you should get help which yeah. is great but you know when if there's If you try and get help and it doesn't work what do you... Yeah I mean not even that like he's such a big actor too and we would have rather him say like okay this was devastating and we were all guilty we are all guilty all of us um you know not watching his movies listening to this crap on social media like Journalist, he was yeah. just you know but it would have been nice if ashke had said like anybody else out there because now you have a lot of these other younger actors that are getting caught in the similar trap and maybe they have a better family support that they're not going to go to this extreme but if not you should be the one saying like give me a call you know yeah. a lot of these other actors have come out and said sushant had tried to call them and they didn't pick up and they they kind of forgot to call him back or meet up with him and now they feel guilt everybody i know there are a lot Everyone of people feels that guilty. feels guilty we feel guilty like we should have watched more movies we wish we had known more you know i my thing i think he just stuck inside for 2 months alone. He couldn't take it. And just thing after thing after social media thing and it he just couldn't yeah. He he needed um his family and um unfortunately we lost a wonderful person. But we hope she uses this. You know, she is definitely a lioness when it comes to this yeah. stuff. We've seen her before. We love her movies. We're still waiting for that Kabaddi, Kabaddi movie. Okay, I was going to say Kabaddi, and I, I forget the name of it, but um, to come out where we can watch it. So if you guys know where it is, we, we want to watch it. We need to start not only from the Jan family, but as a consumer, like 
watching movies of these younger actors, watching these great people because, you know, the big people are big because you go to see their movies. Yeah. They would not be where they are today if you didn't, if watch, their you didn't watch their movies. They wouldn't. So you as a consumer have made them big. And because they've corrupt from money, and that's the only reason I can think, they have turned like against people that are coming up to take their spot. But if the people didn't come, as soon as they stop becoming actors or actresses, then nobody else will be actors. Right. Or You're not going to be around forever, but don't make it hard on the younger generation that's coming up. You know, he tried time and again to reach out to people and time and again was slapped in the face. He was a good guy with a good heart and unfortunately he just couldn't take it anymore. Um, you know, we also heard stories about Govinda said similar stuff in interviews that, you know, his career was huge. We've done a lot of Govinda stuff. Amazing dancer. Yeah, hilarious. Movies. You know, he's done some serious stuff, but I think I like him best in the funny, mm -hmm. funny stuff. Um, and the same thing. It got to a point where they didn't want his movies to be released. And so they didn't release them in certain theaters. And so his career started to decline. You know, it shouldn't be the gangs who's going to be on top it should be the people just yeah. like for china if you don't want china's products and you don't want to support the chinese communist party your wallet is your wallet you choose to buy china or you choose not to buy china you know choose to buy made in india choose to support these actors and actresses that are young and up and coming or like Kangana who gets crap all the time too she's another one that she speaks her mind and she doesn't put up with it and these are the people we need to support support your own and don't let this group so we as consumers are really the ultimate in charge of all of this yeah. you at the end of the day who you, where you, decide. movies you decide to watch, what songs you decide to watch, you know, on YouTube, on that Netflix, what in the theater. In the big theaters, that decides mm -hmm. what movies are coming up next. Yep. So I've seen a lot of people in the comments say they are boycotting Bollywood. We need to support our own. We need to support these young, up and coming actors that are doing great jobs and and not support these goons in Bollywood for a while yeah. and see see what happens I guarantee you your wallet just like for China is gonna have a big big impact on them so I hope you guys like this let us know what you think in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful Jan family and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.